ladder with dual leg leveling, which delivers stability and adaptability to uneven terrain. Sounds like a big night. Yeah, Raj made the funniest joke. He said, which is the best ladder to use to hang myself? <laughs> So you're keeping busy? You're not lonely? Oh, not at all. I've had outings with Leonard and Raj in the evening, and oh, I had lunch with Dr. Nowitzki. Who's he? Oh, no, Dr. Nowitzki is a woman. Oh, really? Uh, when did you meet her? Many years ago, back when she was a grad student. Uh, she's always been a huge fan of my work, and now she's doing research at Caltech. Huge fan, you say? <laughs> Yes, I think you'd like her. She's extremely intelligent, just like you. Unlike you, she's tall, blonde, and used to be an Olympic swimmer. <laughs> Terrific. I'll call you right back. Oh, hey, Amy. I gave you one job! <laughs> Keep an eye on him. How hard is that? <laughs> We thought you meant not letting him run out into traffic. <laughs> Which he only did once. Why didn't you tell me? We didn't want you to worry. Should I worry? No, come on, it's Sheldon. Nothing is gonna happen. That's what you said to me when I started dating him. And then five years later, bingo, bango, something happened. Yeah, but you're gonna be back in three months. You don't get it. I've been smacking that ketchup bottle for a long time. All she's got to do is tip it over and point it at her fries. What do you want us to do? I don't know. Might be the New Jersey talking, but this Nowitzki broad needs to disappear. That's ridiculous. As far as we know, all that happened is two scientists had lunch. Yeah, but one of those scientists is a tall, blonde Olympic swimmer. Oh, come on, looks don't matter to Sheldon because he only has eyes for you. Nice try. Oh, thanks, I was scrambling. <laughs> hey. Hey, what you reading? Yep, it's your brother's Christmas letter. Ugh, if there's a picture of his wife and his kids and his dogs and his horses all in matching pajamas, I beg you to burn it. <laughs> oh, the people's pajamas have little horses on them and the horses have little people. <laughs> Just his chance to brag about how great his life is. Oh, come on, it's nice. You know that nonprofit he works with? They built a hospital in Rwanda. Oh, look at me, I built a hospital in Rwanda. <laughs> That's a good point. I hadn't thought of it that way. Hello. Hey. So, this is for Amy's birthday. Can I leave it here? Sure. What is it? Uh, butter churn. Oh, that's what I got her. Yeah. <laughs> it's for her surprise frontier birthday dinner. I, I am making hardtack, boiled salt pork, and because it's a special day, a chewable gob of tree sap. Is that good? Uh, compared to other foods, no. Compared to other parts of a tree, eh. <laughs> and then after dinner, we will have birthday coitus. Do you think that will also be historically accurate? Well, I assume, like the rest of frontier life, it'll be exhausting and short. <laughs> You're exhausting and short. So, Leonard, tell everyone your news. Oh, uh, I am starting a book. That would be big news from Penny, but you've read a book before. <laughs> he means he's writing a book. I do. It's something I've been thinking about for a long time. Yeah, it's about a brilliant physicist who solves crimes using science. Yeah. Oh, Leonard. it's not about you. <laughs> he probably has to say that for legal reasons. Uh-oh. Give us plain rice instead of fried rice. Well, no fair. I soul cycle this morning. I'm entitled to a pile of fat rice. Well, I would say that this constitutes a catering crisis. I agree. Who's going to step up and handle it? Doesn't matter, this is fine. Penny? What? You know what, I'll take care of it. Whoa, shit, Howard Wallowitz. <laughs> Make gay woman, chow fan. <laughs> Pangsa Indu Panya Bugal Singa. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> Done. You didn't make him feel bad, did you? Actually, he was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really impressed at how you handled that, Howard. Please, I've been sending food back my entire life. One of my first full sentences was, I had breast milk for breakfast. <laughs> Excuse me, but before we start eating, I, I would like to make a toast. Oh, oh nice. nice. If only I could think of one. Someone else go. <laughs> okay. Scratch paper, check. Whiteboard, check. Checks mix, check. <laughs> and here we go. Mm. Oh, dang it. Hello, Mother. Hi there, Shelley. You will never believe who I ran into at the barbecue festival. I am right in the middle of some very important work. I don't have time for this right now. Then why did you answer the phone? Because you raised me polite. Now stop bothering me. Hello again. Who did you see at the barbecue festival? Mr. Watkins. You, really? You called me and interrupted my work to tell me that you ran into somebody you could plausibly run into? I, sorry, Mother, I really need to focus here. I will speak to you next week. Okay, sweetheart, I'll talk to you then. I thought Mr. Watkins moved to Florida. He did. He was back visiting his son. Oh, gosh, darn it, that is interesting. <laughs> was it Tommy or Joe? I bet it was Joe, because he and Tommy had a falling out over that timeshare. Morning. Good morning. Oh, you didn't have to cook me breakfast. Well, I wasn't sure how I did last night, and I wanted to finish strong. <laughs> you don't need to worry. Last night was great. Ah, well, you say that now, but wait until you taste this. Oh my God, this is amazing. Which is why I keep an omelet pan in the trunk of my car. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, it's delicious. My husband never cooked for me. Oh, uh, you were married? Yeah. Well, technically, I guess I still am. Is that... Technically, like the paperwork hasn't gone through, or <laughs> technically, like he's in the closet watching us right now? No, 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 we're separated. Do you mind if we talk about something else? Of course. Uh, you know, my secret to making great omelets is that I beat the egg whites separately. Uh, speaking of which, how long have you been separated? <laughs> about two weeks. That is not a lot of weeks. <laughs> In fact, that's the bare minimum to get to the plural weeks. Doesn't matter. He moved out, I moved on. Oh, good. Yeah, do you mind me asking what he does for a living? He's a firefighter. Interesting. Potentially jealous man who's handy with an axe. <laughs> it's, a, it's okay, though. He's almost had two weeks to cool down. This is nice. It is. She used to kiss me like that. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm so alone. Sorry, I can't do this. What's going on? I met all of the other day. Wait, you tracked down my husband? No, that would be weird. He tracked me down, then we spent the evening together. I don't believe this. He, he only did it because he cares about you. No, he did it because he's possessive and jealous. Really? I didn't get that at all. He made me feel very comfortable. Well, I'm glad you two hit it off. You know, I don't think that you're being very fair to him. You're taking his side? No, but I should point out that he did offer to go to counseling, so at least one of you was trying. 
You're crazier than he is. I'll tell you what. what. Just give him one more chance. And if it doesn't work out, I'll be happy to keep sleeping with you. <laughs> you would. Either way, you've got yourself a fella. Like, how nice is that? And then, when the lights come back on in the super collider room, Dr. Logan Dean makes two important discoveries. A gluino and murder. Oh, gluino. That's exciting. And murder. <laughs> I heard you. The first time. I don't know which Hemsworth is playing Logan Dean, but I know it's a Hemsworth. Oh, Logan's actually based on me. So a young Paul Giamatti. <laughs> I have to finish writing it before they can make it into a movie, and I, I still have a few things to figure out. You should talk to Bernadette. Since she's been on bed rest, she's binged, like, every detective show in the world. Oh, there was a funny detective show in India called Karamchand. He had an assistant named Kitty, and he was always saying, Shut up, Kitty! <laughs> Sounds less mean if you say it in Hindi, and don't think of women as having feelings. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Howard. I want you to know that I forgive you. I'll take it. <laughs> What's he forgiving you for? Don't care. Clean slate. Happy Yom Kippur to me. <laughs> I know that you were on Will's show, and I know why you didn't tell me. Do you? Because you were afraid that I would be difficult and annoying about it. <laughs> I hope your book has a twist as surprising as that. <laughs> it doesn't. I thought you were boycotting Will's show. I was, but I... I decided to give it a shot, and I actually enjoyed it. Uh, just out of curiosity, how did you come to be on the show? Did he ask you? Or did you ask him? Did you just show up on the set and ring that doorbell? <laughs> Sheldon, if you want to be on the show, you're going to have to apologize to Will. That would be the mature thing to do. Let's put a pin in that and keep thinking. Are there any engineers on the grant committee? I don't know why. I didn't have time to figure out the three input hydraulic manifold, so this diagram is really just a flux capacitor from Back to the Future. I'm sorry this is on such short notice. Hey, I just wish I could be there when you present it. That's okay. It's more important that you spend time with Michael. Who's Michael? Uh, your son? No, it's not. <laughs> My son doesn't have a name yet. <laughs> 